Croatia was always known as the budget destination of Europe, the cheaper Italy or Greece. But with the popularity of it going up, have the prices gone up as well? Let's find out. Oh man, what a journey. I just made it from Kotor to Montenegro. The bus was delayed like two hours and then we sat at the border for like another hour. So got to Dubrovnik much later than I thought, but arrived at the main bus station. Luckily, my hostel is right beside this station, so won't be too far of a walk. And it's also a bit cheaper. I just got the cheapest one I could find and it was about 30 euros for the night. Cutting it really close, just getting on the first bus I can get to to the old town. It's about a 35 minute walk, but sunsets in like half an hour, a bit less. So I gotta make it there as fast as I can. The bus says it takes about five to 10 minutes. It's either bus number one or bus number three. Both of those take you to Dubrovnik Old Town. just ran up the stairs as fast as I could. I did miss sunset, but it's still bright outside, so I get the beautiful views of Dubrovnik. I couldn't go all the way up because I wouldn't have had time, but the view from here is still really nice. Basically, what I love doing, though, is when I get to a new city, just seeing it from above. So instead of taking the 30 euro cable car all the way to the top, there's a free hike right on the side of it. It takes like 45 minutes. That's the one I was going to do, but I couldn't get there in time. So I went here instead and just as fast as I could. It's definitely the better option. You get the exact same views and you don't need to pay for that cable car. So that's a big plus. Now it's time to go back into the old city, though, and check out the old town and see what it's like there. So I was in Croatia back in 2018 and it was much cheaper then, but also something to note is that as of March, 2024, Croatia switched over to the Euro as their currency, not the Kuna. So that also drove the prices up. And I've heard just like even over these past six years, the prices in Croatia have gone up a lot. Let's see if that's actually true. The city does look so beautiful though from above. It's a really nice city to see. So I definitely recommend seeing it from above and do the hike if you can. <laughs> Just made it into the old town now. There's drinking fountains right when you enter, which is amazing. And first thing I noticed is that everything looks so grand. Like the walls are actually much bigger than I expected. Really cool place called Buza Bar. It's like at the end of the walls. It just gives stunning views of the water. It's definitely cool to come there. Maybe even at sunset or just during the day, you can jump into the water and there's also like drinks. It's like a nice bar, actually a really cool spot. The main thing to do in Dubrovnik though is to check out the old walls, but the thing is they cost 35 euros. Very expensive, more than like I've seen anywhere else, like Rome, the Colosseum is cheaper, Acropolis is cheaper, all these other attractions all around Europe. This is definitely the most expensive one I've seen, but it's closed anyway, so even if I wanted to go on, I can't. But I definitely say Buza Bar is like a good spot to go if you don't want to pay the 35 euros, or you can just go to the top and like see the viewpoints from above the city, not in the old town so the walls were finished around the 16th century and they're about two kilometers in length and 25 meters high so one of the biggest old towns i've ever seen definitely bigger than like the ones in montenegro that i was just in there's definitely a lot of pride first the romans settled here and then came the slavs and they kind of lived in unison but now the population of dubrovnik is only about 30,000 people because a lot of people have been moving out Average price at a restaurant is about 25 euros, 30 euros. So I decided to get a Burek from Konzum, which is like their little markets here. Pretty small, but I think it'll do. It only cost a euro 29. So I was just going up the stairs just in the old town and trying to see if there's any nice views at night and I stumbled on this basketball court. I'll link the Google Maps to where it is and honestly the views are actually pretty nice up here. If you want to play basketball, perfect spot to play. You actually have views of the entire city so another good free spot that you can check out if you want to see the views of Dubrovnik. And it goes without saying that I'm going to need to bring up Game of Thrones because this is the location of King's Landing from the series. It's probably the thing that made Dubrovnik and all of Croatia so popular and such a big tourist destination and basically every gift shop in here just sells so much Game of Thrones merch.
just walking back now. It's about a half hour walk to get back. I decided to do that instead of just waiting for the bus and sitting on a really packed bus because I already saw how many people were queued up at the bus station. This is another free thing, but I definitely see the hype behind Dubrovnik. Just for the short time I was in the city today, it was definitely very beautiful, probably a top five city and I definitely a city that I would love to go back to, especially with Katya because those restaurants look really nice, great spots to swim all around and just really beautiful city. So day one was successfully done very cheap in Dubrovnik. I spent a total of 129 on food, which was the burek. To be fair, I did eat in Montenegro around 12, so I wasn't too hungry and that burek was enough to fill me up. And it was actually pretty filling itself, but if you want just like cheap food, you can go to a consum or any other mini store like that and get just a meal. You can definitely do it for under five euros or 10 euros for something big. And then just two euros is spent on the bus and then the 30 euros I spent on the hostel. So a total of 33 euros and 29 cents. Also, if you do leave the old town, a lot of the restaurants are gonna be cheaper. So it's kind of like every other city, like once you get out of a bit of the tourist areas, there's actually reasonably priced places to go. It can be made as expensive as you want in just like any other city, to be honest. So just woke up again, this time headed down to Bellevue Beach and got myself a burek on the way, this time with meat. Another budget breakfast, it was 270 euros. You're in the Balkans, so might as well. The amount of burek I've been eating in the past little while is crazy though. But yeah, this is a really nice beach. There's not too many people, it's actually really chill. Great spot to swim, you're surrounded by cliffs. Bellevue Beach was actually a really good beach if you want to be swimming away from the crowds. But also Buza Bar seems like a really great spot just to swim. You can just cliff jump. If I was to go swimming, I would probably go there, but but both are great options. Both are also free, which is amazing. The burek was also really filling, so that was good. Ate again on a budget. Also, if you do want to do the walls of Dubrovnik, the Dubrovnik City Pass gives access to a lot more attractions, including the walls, and they're both 35 euros. It's definitely more worth it to get the City Pass instead of just the ticket for the walls. Now it's time to catch the shuttle to the airport, which costs 10 euros to get there. It's about 30 minutes, and it takes you from the main bus station or you can go from the old town. I understand the hype behind the city. It's really beautiful and definitely a spot that everyone should check out. I really wish I had time to do that hike because the hike looks really cool, but it's time to go. So total spent for today was 12 euros and 70 cents. So another good day on a budget. You can definitely make Dubrovnik as cheap or as expensive as you want to. There are some things you can't avoid, like the accommodations are a bit pricier here, and also just the walls if you want to do that, but definitely recommend getting the city pass. I'd actually say it's budget approved. You can eat on a budget and just walk around the city, swim, all that stuff is free. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe because it really helps me out. And I'll see you again in the next one.